Hey guys and welcome back to another Mystery Bit video right here on Tetrabit Gaming, the series where I investigate mysterious, spooky, and unexplained occurrences in gaming. So by now, you've probably already heard of the rumor that some people believe that Luigi was actually an unlockable character in Super Mario 64. If you haven't yet heard about this, or the mystery of Ella's Real 2401, I actually made a video on it a while ago and I highly recommend you check it out first by clicking on the card right here. Today, however, it turns out that there exists a rumor that similarly Waluigi could be unlockable in Super Mario 64 DS. But really quickly before we dive into this mystery bit guys, if you do enjoy this video and want to see more mystery bits in the future, please be sure to leave a big fat like and comment down below, it would seriously help me out a lot. Also, I know this is just a rumor and that data mining exists. And with that said guys, let's go. So a few months ago, it was brought to my attention by one of my subscribers that there is in fact a rumor out there, similar to the El is Real rumor, but this one concerns Luigi's rival, Waluigi, in the Nintendo DS remake of Super Mario 64. Quickly a bit of context, in the late 90s and early 2000s, many video game rumors would spread around playgrounds across the world as many kids, myself included, didn't always have immediate access to the internet to fact check these rumors. The particular L is Real rumor that I'm referring to speculated that Luigi was in fact unlockable in the Nintendo 64 launch title, Super Mario 64, by doing various tasks. Luigi was eventually made unlockable and playable in the DS remake of the game alongside Yoshi and Wario. As you can see, for some reason the last Mario brother was left out. And yes, I know they aren't all technically brothers, but that's just how I've always referred to these four. Much like in the days of Super Mario 64, in around 2007, many rumors began to surface about how Waluigi was actually unlockable in Super Mario 64 DS. Most of these rumors were obviously fake and didn't make it outside of local playgrounds. Some even suggested that the original El is Real statue was somehow connected to unlocking Waluigi in this game. However, there were also a few rumors that were a bit more compelling and even gained some traction on the internet. The first notable rumor came from this magazine scan from 2005 that some of you may actually remember, titled Purple Prizes. This scan actually looked pretty legitimate in terms of how it was presented, as it looked pretty similar to other magazine styles at the time. The article states, Yes sir, that sneering sneak known as Waluigi couldn't simply let his counterpart Wario hog a prime spot in Super Mario 64 DS. Not a chance. He's used all the tricks up his sleeves to pull a cameo for himself. Only the best players will get to see him though, as it seems he set up quite the scavenger hunt to his location. It was said that Waluigi was unlockable by collecting all 150 power stars and by becoming the fastest foot racer in the land. Whatever that means. Then a secret switch would be revealed which would reveal a Waluigi door. Then apparently you had to challenge the Rabbit King in order to obtain the key to unlock it. Honestly these conditions don't seem too far-fetched. The article also explains what some of Waluigi's moves could be. It mentions that Waluigi would have a much springier jump and that his long jumps, high jumps, and triple jumps would be much better than that of the other characters. Additionally, when Waluigi would pick up a power flower, he would turn into warp speed Waluigi and would basically run and swim at very high speeds. And lastly, at the bottom of the article we can see Waluigi explaining that there exists a secret ending to the game after unlocking him. I honestly think that it would have been really cool to see an alternate ending to the game. Now how authentic the accompanying screenshots are is up to your discretion, but in an age where not every 12 year old had access to Photoshop, these looked pretty legit and would have taken a lot of skill to forge. Although many people believe that this article came from IGN or even Nintendo Power, it was eventually discovered that this article was in fact fake, as it was created by one Andrew Brown who custom made a Waluigi model and placed it into these screenshots as a joke for April Fool's Day in 2005. Okay, you'll have to bear with me for this next rumor as it gets a bit out there and admittedly it's kind of hard to believe. This next rumor of how to unlock Waluigi as made famous by WWW Wario comes from one Arceus2401, or Arceus, or however you want to pronounce it. WWW Wario made a full extensive video on this rumor so check it out for more detailed explanation as I won't really go as in depth into the rumor, link will be in the description below. The story goes that a few years ago a YouTuber by the name of Arceus2401 sent WWW Wario detailed instructions of how to unlock Waluigi as well as some pictures of proof. It should be noted that these pictures were not screenshots of the game, but rather pictures of the game being played on the DS, and I'll show them to you right away. 
In theory, it should have been a lot harder to fake these pictures, but these pictures seem to have been taken with a potato, and their quality is subpar. How convenient, right? Anyways, here are the pictures while I go over the uh, interesting instructions Arceus2401 gave to unlock Waluigi. Just a heads up though, it seems Arceus wasn't a native English speaker, so apologies if I miss anything while translating his English. First you need to collect all 150 stars, but unlocking the minigames wasn't necessary. Next, you have to go to Snowman's Land as Wario and let the big snowman blow your hat off. You then have to quit the level and go into the mirror room just outside the level as Luigi. There you have to collect the power flowers in an order that you make the shape of Waluigi's inverted L. Then you have to go jump into Wario's portrait. Here you must collect every single red and yellow coin in the level, which should total about 79 coins. If you've done everything correctly up to this point, a Wario cap should appear and you have to take it to the fight with Chief Chili. You then have to throw Chief Chili into the water twice, but not three times so as to defeat him. After the second time, you just need to keep punching him around until coins start to fall out, until you get 100 coins. He will then drop a red Mega Mushroom, which you use to defeat Chief Chili as Mega Wario. Okay, now if you thought this was hard to believe up until this point, just wait for this next bit. You then have to wait a few hours in real life, and go and get a star in TikTok clock while the clock in the game reads 9pm. After this, a Waluigi door is supposed to appear next to all the other player doors. Entering this door will take you to a negative world of Peach's Castle, where you would end up in the mirror room as before. There you would find a Waluigi portrait, and after jumping into it, you have to square up against a giant piranha plant. If you manage to defeat it, you unlock Waluigi. Obviously some of these steps are questionable, and in my opinion, these steps are just too random for someone to discover by themselves. However, the giant piranha plant screenshot kind of is interesting because we never actually see a huge piranha like this in the game. Many people have tried to complete these steps, but to no avail. Some also believe that a Japanese version of the game is required for this method. There were also apparently other weird messages that Arceus would send WWWWario, involving tapeworms and stuff, but I'm sure something just got lost in translation. After a few days apparently, Arceus2401 dropped all contact with WWWWario, never to be heard from again. But supposedly WWWWario subscribed to a new Arceus account more recently, so who knows, maybe they're still in contact and there is some possibility that there is more to his claims? There were also a few more claims that some people believe show that Waluigi was supposed to be a character in the game at some point, but may have been cut closer to release. Again, some of these are quite a stretch. Firstly, in the minigame room, people noticed the colors of the dots on the floor. There was red for Mario, green for Yoshi and Luigi, and yellow for Wario. There are also purple dots on the floor, which some believe suggest Waluigi was supposed to be included as well. Next, some people have noticed what appears to be a window on the side of Peach's castle in the image of it during the file select screen. This window, however, doesn't appear in the actual game, and some people believe it may have some sort of connection to unlocking Waluigi. Who knows, maybe it did at some point. This last one is in my opinion the most believable, and I even had to check it out for myself. To unlock more minigames in Super Mario 64 DS, you have to catch rabbits around Peach's castle as each character. There are red or pinkish rabbits for Mario, green for Luigi, yellow for Yoshi, and orange rabbits for Wario. But in a screenshot in the official instruction booklet for the game, an unseen purple rabbit is pictured. Because it is never seen in the actual game, this leads some to believe that Waluigi was initially planned to be in the game with his own rabbits, but was eventually scrapped. Well, what do I think? While I don't think Waluigi is unlockable in any way at this point, I do however believe in the possibility that he was initially planned to be in the game. Ever since getting this game in 2004, I have always wondered why there was a fourth white door in the character room, as I felt it should have served a bigger purpose in the game than just getting a power star for catching a few rabbits. But what do you guys think? Do you think there is a way to unlock Waluigi in the game? Do you think he was meant to be in the game but was cut closer to release? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, I would love to hear what you guys think. And for more mystery bits and other videos guys, please be sure to check out the rest of my channel and subscribe today. And if you guys want to stay even more up to date with me and my channel, please be sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as well. Links to each of those will be in the description below. And as always guys, thank you all so much for watching today, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in a bit.